Warning, this video is intended for adult collectors. It contains plastic collectibles, questionable opinions, and a man rapidly running out of storage space. It's too late. Random review is about to begin. Recently, by some stroke of luck, I actually managed to find the Legacy Wave 1 Deluxes on the very first day they were spotted in the US. Meaning, uh, yeah, I actually had some really early reviews without stealing them from China. However, I was passing on Bulkhead at the time because honestly, I just, I wasn't feeling the design change. I had my trepidations, but with some, with some goading and some, some good, good feedback from some friends I trust. I decided to give Bulkhead a shot. And how did it turn out? Oh, that's kind of why you clicked on the video, right? So let's get to that. Let's take a look at Legacy Bulkhead. Now, of course, this is a G Oneified Bulkhead. This is not, you know, they market it as Prime Universe Bulkhead, but it is inspired by that bulkhead only. It definitely is not the same style of vehicle mode, and it's definitely not going to be the same style of robot mode, so prep yourself. We have to uh, account for such things. As you can see, he is a covered military truck in alt mode, rocking two different shades of green, some bright around the cab and some darker around the back for the, the cover and the uh, rear sections as well black for the tires and a little bit black showing through some in paint some in uh, sculpted parts translucent blue windows revealing a very empty interior that just has uh, robot mode fists sticking inside of them and then yeah that's pretty much what you got deco wise going on a little bit of black up the top for some of the gap filling sections we look at the back we do have a, a very visible empty uh, rear section on trucks like this that's not entirely uncommon uh, just to have the cover over the top of everything and then the back is open for easy access so that's not the most shocking thing the the size and like feel of the vehicle mode is nice like everything here just like looks fine you can see a little bit of exposed thigh going through there uh, but that's really only if you know what you're looking for. Otherwise, you could probably just mistake that for a little bit of mechanical detail. What's a little bit harder to ignore are these fake tires that are just hanging out behind the cab. That's a little bit weird. I like the hatch at the top, too. Like, he's got, like, like there's an escape hatch or something, or someone's going to pop out of there with a machine gun at any second. So... You do have uh, you do have a little bit you can do with this mode. For starters, it does roll, though mine does not roll very well. Um, I don't think it's clashing on the ground really. It doesn't look like it. I think I think the tires, I think the wheels are just like they are the mushroom pegged on wheels, which never roll well. So yeah, wheels on transformers these days are mostly just to keep the bottom from getting scraped up. I can't count on them to work most of the time. If I actually want play value out of this mode, uh, we do have. 5 millimeter port here on the side and there as well and one at the top and fortunately we do have his energon weapon that can attach to those points should we really want there is a handle that does flip out so if you want to mount something there with a 5 millimeter port you can do that though the better way to do it is not to flick it a million times with your fingernail before it finally pops out but just to undo the canopy and push it out so you also see these and yes I am aware they very much look like minicon ports right down to the box surrounding the hollowed out peg I find no evidence to support that this is intentionally meant for minicons unfortunately I don't think I have any minicons on hand at the moment that could test this out I'm looking over like I think all of mine are packed away yeah uh, so unfortunately I can't really like plug anything in there to test whether or not that actually works as a minicon port or not part of me wants to say maybe it's a little too small for that but that might be poorly memorized still it will fit a five millimeter post uh, if you have a socket for such so you can actually give quite a, quite a bit of armament to the vehicle mode which is pretty appropriate given what it is all right so robot mode transformation time let's uh get to that first off i'm going to unclip this canopy oh clips out from the sides and then it pegs in here at the at this black section so we can go ahead and remove that 
we already state, I don't like when vehicles do this. Uh, you know, it's basically shell that you take off and put somewhere else. I've never been a fan of that. We're also going to remove this because he has weapon storage and plenty of other storage for weapons if they're small enough to fit inside the canopy. All right. So for starters, I'm going to start unclipping things, including like these little gas tanks on the side, and we're going to stretch everything out like so. Once that's done, separate the legs. I'm going to fold these feet out of the way. You don't necessarily have to do the heels yet. I find it's easier to keep everything out of the way so these can lift up and you can tuck these in without any kind of obstruction. Twist them around, tuck them in, close it up. We'll do that again on the other side in case you missed it the first time. Simply like so. Now, now that's all out of the way. Now we can flip out those, uh, those heel spurs. If they're giving you trouble, kind of rotate up and let, uh, let some of the hinges work for you a little bit. Uh, that's not working in my case. Come on. Nope, 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 nope. Stuck. Ah, it's Im You hate when the co toy is not cooperating with you. Get out. Get out. There we go. Hopefully yours is not quite as stiff as mine. Don't take that out of context. All right. We're going to leave this unaccordion. We're going to close this up a little bit later. For now, I want to keep everything a little bit free so we can get things out a little bit easier. I'm going to fold up these tires and shove them through that hinge. Open up the canopy. That way we can, or the, the, you know, the, the cab. That way we can fold these arms out. Separate them out like so. Start to bring them out to the side. This black piece inside needs to tuck inward. That way Bulkhead's head can actually rotate and hinge outward. Now we can approach this section here, which will lock that black piece in like so. That piece is going to connect onto the stretched out blue section there. Well, at least if you have the arms up high enough first, that will actually work like so. Then once the arms are in play, uh, once all that's in place, make sure the arms are hinged up correctly and then tab them into the side of that cab section. That is going to make sure your bulkhead is nice and firm in robot mode. He actually has a nice transformation. Like I was actually expecting something maybe a little bit simpler because he is just a big box unfolding into a boxy robot. But he's got a lot of little tricks to him that make him a little bit more interesting than I expected to transform. And yeah, the final result ends up looking pretty nice. I like how he actually turned out. Again, we see he is definitely not prime bulkhead. He's bulky in the wrong spots. His proportions are actually, you know, kind of normal. That's not how we're used to seeing bulkhead. He's just kind of like big sumo power lifter stature. This one looks like uh, more Mr. Universe style muscle, where it's like all show, all upper body. That's uh, that's a consequence of the design trying to fit in with the last three series worth of toys. That's just something we're going to have to get used to, because apparently that's just the, the concept for now. You know what? I'll take it, though. You know, at least at least the characters get a little bit more attention. If I take a look at the head up close, that's definitely bulkhead in in the uh, the actual head sculpting. So like that actually does look like the character. He has a tiny little nose now. There's one thing that I actually kind of liked about the Prime designs is they looked a little bit more alien because they were missing a nose. Because why would a robot from space need a nose? But you do actually have uh, like a fairly decent head sculpt there. Like I think especially because I, I guess you give it a big chin and a green helmet, it's going to look like bulkhead, right? So the very least, uh, you know, the, at least that part of the identity is simple to do. The proportions in robot mode, as stated, exceptionally boxy. He is very chest forward, uh, very, very bulky in that regard. So I guess that's name appropriate. Like I said, he's got this physique of a power, you know, of a, uh, of a, a, uh, a bodybuilder rather than, you know, rather than a power lifter. He still looks very powerful and he definitely still has the bulk in him, 
but he's not quite that round, charming design he was in Prime. That said, I still like how he looks. I like big, solid-looking bots like this. We do admit uh, he is quite hollow on the inside because that's just the empty cab where his arm's tucked in. <clears throat> uh, credit where credit's due. There's a little bit more solid parts than I expected out of him. Like, biceps, yeah, but that's usual these days. But all the legs are pretty solid, you know? Uh, you can see, like, the gaps in the thighs are basically filled in with all the rotation engineering. So, at the very least, very least, he looks nice on a 360. So, you know, he doesn't really show too many gaps when you pose him around. If we want to give him a little bit of armament, he's got that, five, he's got that uh, Energon weapon again. Now, we could just put it in his hand, but why would you do that? It's so basic. So instead, we're going to go up to here where he has these fake wheels. Remember, he had six wheels in vehicle mode. Now he has eight exposed wheels in robot mode. But we're going to use that port there on the side of it and these three millimeter pegs. That way we can clip that in like so and give bulkhead an over-the-shoulder gun. Now, it can't go forward. It's kind of an anti-air weapon in this case. But it's a nice way of equipping it when he's equipping everything else. For starters, that piece we took out of the rear of the vehicle mode is his traditional mace hand, which we can clamshell over one of his fists like so. Plug it into the top, close it up, mace hand. And the mace hand has five millimeter ports all over it, so you can arm this up in very interesting ways. Do you have those flame effects still from all the last three series of Transformers? Hey, you've got some interesting things you can do with them. Uh, there's, like, uh, do you have, uh, oh, the, the hammer. Do you have any, like, the, like, impact effects? This would be good for posing for him, thanks to all of these ports. You can have some fun with that. Uh, and create some manic Energon weapons with it, I'm sure, if you just leave, leave it off bulkhead and just use it as, like, a hub. So, he's got that going for him, and then we have to, uh, we gotta talk about this. I, I, I mean, I've made it no secret, I really don't like components that just come off and become shields. I feel like you're, uh, I feel like it's a cheat, I feel like it's wasting space, and I feel like it's just, I don't know, shallow. I don't know, it doesn't impress. Now, I will say, they did sculpt the inside of it, so you turn it inside out, and you can see these armored panels along the side. You get extra blades here at the bottom. So it actually does have a semblance of some actual shield, rather than just being, you know, the rear half of his vehicle mode. Hi, Cliff Jumper. And there is a peg here on the back that you can use, but you can also flip that out and stick it onto his arm, like so. He does have uh, quite a few ports, but I feel like the one on his on the side of his arm actually works best rather than sticking it into his hand. So you got a riot shield effect with him as well, which I guess when you're bulkhead, you're the tank of the team. So I guess going heavy on defense is not terribly out of character for him. I'll accept that. Like a, sh a shield isn't too far out of his characterization to bug me. Still not a huge fan of it, but it's better than most attempts that I have seen. On the articulation front, head does move all the way around. That shin does get in the way in some spots, but, you know, unless you're trying to, like, go full exorcist on his head, that's not an issue. A little bit of up and down. Universal shoulders here, proper universal on this figure. 360 degrees on the bicep. We have a 90 degree out. Whoa, actually, no, I hadn't tested it in a bit. We have beyond the 90 on the elbow joint. Always great to see. Waist rotation works. Thighs, universal. Move all the way around. Yep, we have full thigh rotation as well. Knees, a little bit beyond the 90. And then the ankle tilt works very well on him as well. And thanks to the like way that his feet clamshell together in the vehicle mode, you have that as an option as well. And also, speaking of options, if you want to arm him up, you, you've got no uh, shortage of options. He's got 5mm pegs inside and outside the arms. You've got them on the sides of the wheels, on all of the wheels. you got them at the bottom of the foot. you got one there on the side of the leg. You've got one in the back of his body. you got the two in the back of his, each leg. <sighs> yeah. Appropriate for this guy. You can give him so many weapons. You give him all the weapons. So, I feel like he's got a lot of uh, potential in the play pattern to this toy line. So, that is my look 
at Bulkhead. That is my look at Legacy Bulkhead. Is he a good Bulkhead toy? No, you know, because he just does not capture the same impression or charm of the original. Is he a good toy in general? Yes, as just a general Transformer toy, he is very good, and I do highly recommend the figure. If you're putting him off because he's Bulkhead and not like quite the Bulkhead you want, go look up uh, uh, go look up a few more reviews see if like the play pattern and just how nice he came out over outweighs that and if it doesn't wait for a repaint you know eventually they're gonna turn him into somebody else and hopefully the next time around it's a little bit more fitting but for now that's the opinion on legacy bulkhead I like him a lot better than I expected to Guys, I am facing the most powerful enemy any YouTuber can face, the algorithm, and I need your help to defeat him. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Every time you do, we attack that algorithm and we drive it back until it can no longer defeat this channel. Thank you very much.